In this video, we get personal. And we answer the number one question that we get asked. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And we are living amazing today, aren't we? We are, yeah. <laughs> Do you know that every day I wake up and I am so grateful to be living RV life. We're coming up on three years of being full-time RVers and we still love it, right? Yeah, yeah. October 18th will be my, actually October 18th was supposed to be the day I left, but it was the 19th, so the 19th. And mine was November 13th. And so we wanna get personal in this video because the number one question we get asked, particularly when people meet us in person is what? How did you get out here? How did you start this RV life? Yeah, and we really haven't shared the details, but I think this video will help you. It might inspire you or just help you if you're thinking about doing full-time RV life. What did it take? How did we prepare? How long did we think about it before we actually hit the road? And our answers are completely different. So if you're a planner, it might be me, although I really, wasn't planning that far ahead and if you're more of a spontaneous person it might be Paul. RV living wasn't even on my radar. Had you ever camped? I camped once uh, 30 almost 40 years ago in a, a pickup with a camper in the bed. Truck camper. Truck camper thank you. Did it for a week traveled up the coast of California to the Bay Area and turned around and went back home and we enjoyed it but after I did that it was it was Okay, I've checked that box. I'm done with that. It wasn't, wasn't on your radar to go never camping. Never going, yeah, it was never on my radar to go camping. And then I had a major life change. Um, I don't think I'm going to go into the details of that yet. This is where we get a little personal, right? <laughs> <laughs> but not too personal. <laughs> Suffice it to say, I blew my life up. And, mm -hmm. and um, I was looking at where I was going to live. And I had couldn't, I wasn't going to live in, in an apartment. I just thought. Well, it, can you say that you were going through a divorce? I was definitely going through a divorce. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't even know how I stumbled onto full time RV videos on YouTube, and and I was thinking, no, I can't do that. I I couldn't live that life, but I kept watching these videos, and then it was a week later. It was like, well, maybe I could. I could. I could probably do do that. And maybe a week after that, I was out buying a, a, my first trailer and, wow. and new truck. I mean, I had to go buy a, a truck to pull it with. So the trailer I ended up buying was a 24-foot tow behind. It was a bunkhouse. I mean, that shows you how, how little I was thinking about what this life is really like. Well, you were just really intent on escaping. Yeah, I was trying to get away. <laughs> yeah. So my, that's, where my, that's where my brain was, apparently. Because but you know, a bunkhouse has lots of storage. So. Well, I, I actually converted it. I took the bunks out since I wasn't going to be using them and uh, made a walk-in closet. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it had a lot of inside storage. So how long did you see yourself doing RV life? It was open-ended, but I really didn't see myself doing it for more than a year, maybe, I mean, maybe six months. I was thinking, you know, I want to try the life, see what it's like. I might find a place to settle down. In fact, I can talk about that a little bit. When I left California, I went into Oregon, and the first Thousand Trails Park I stayed at was in Florence, called South Jetty. I was there two days, and I started looking at real estate. And it was like, holy cow, this is heaven. But then I found out some things about the weather that, that, that kind of soured that idea. 100 mile an hour winds in the winter. Yeah, the gusty winds coming off the coast there are brutal, but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful area. But obviously I decided to keep going. And, and then you and, met me. <laughs> and then I met you a, few months, a couple months later. You left in October. We met in yeah, the end just, of June, like June 30th. I was trying to think. We didn't get together till November. Yeah, so if you, if you haven't figured it out by now, um, Paul and I were solo for a year before we got together. So that's why we have different RV stories. Mm -hmm. And so mine um, also, yeah, how personal do I get, right? So three years ago, spring of 2018, I was kind of having a crisis and I, I was working all the time. I was a very successful realtor in a beautiful house that we had just finished renovating, we being myself and my husband. 
And I didn't know what was wrong with my life, but I kept feeling like I was on the wrong path, that I was wasting my life, I wasn't living the life I was meant to, to live. And I remember getting up in the middle of the night and hearing a voice in my head that said, run. And I kept having this vision of getting a camper. Now my camping history is different than yours. Now I didn't grow up camping, but I started camping uh, in my 20s and I camped pretty regularly. Um, I'd had three or four campers and, and, and just knew it as a weekender. But I had always dreamed of doing it full time since I was probably 30 and now I'm like 55 in 2018. So 25 years, I'm like, I would love to be a full-time RV or I'd love to live on the road, have a background in professional photography. I'm like, just be perfect, you know, travel and take pictures. I told my husband, I said, I just have this vision. I need to go for a month by myself. I need to buy a camper and then just go because I'm just working too hard. And so I left and I highly recommend solo travel, particularly if you don't know what direction your life should take, or if you feel lost, because I got so much clarity. And I think that's why we're making this video right now is exactly three years ago, I was on my one month long trip. And I think you could have a transformative experience, even if you went, you know, just for a weekend, just having that solo time, because I went out there and I could see clearly that I was in a bad marriage and there was no fixing this marriage. I mean, it was really bad. That even though I was good at real estate, that it was just sucking my life. It was just too much, too much all the time working from, you know, 7 a.m. until 11 at night, constant work. And I had this vision though out there that I was gonna do all these things that were pretty transformative. I was gonna leave my husband. I was gonna move into the van. I cut my hair off. I sold my car. And yeah, <laughs> that's a lot. Yes, it is. You know, and, and part of the reason why I felt this energy to live in the van and go full time is I felt like, you know, the marriage is over. So I was like, I need a completely fresh start. This was now November, 2018. And I went down and wintered in Florida. I thought I hated RV life, but I realized the van was just too small. It was a hundred square feet. I went back up to Kentucky, got the fifth wheel and drove across the states and met you. And blew me off. <laughs> I did. So we, uh, so we met in June, but we did not get, and we have a different video where we explain how we got yeah, together, but yeah. we didn't get together until November. You broke your hand and I came to the rescue and <laughs> the rest is history. Now, if you're thinking about RV life and, and you know, you're not in the situation that either one of us are in, uh, there's lots of avenues into the lifestyle. I mean, you don't have to have blown up your life <laughs> it, or even get a divorce or get a divorce i mean it, it's it's funner with with i think it's more fun with two people it's um funner it's funner funner, funner? <laughs> it's funner a word let us know in the comments <laughs> <laughs> there is as different ways to get in this life as there are different people but this video i mean we don't want to sell RV life. I mean, obviously we love it. This video is more about telling our story to you guys. I mean, listening to your explanation of what happened, when you said fresh start, that rang true to me. I mean, that that's what I was looking for, is that just, just get out of the, my, I lived in this one, this house for 30 plus years. If I would have stayed there, I would have had all the same friends and, and which isn't a bad thing. I mean, I still, I still love my friends, but I don't think I would have had the, the change in me that came from this, doing this, from, from breaking out and, and doing something that I had never even considered doing before. So what is the change in you? I was never that much of an explorer before. You know, I, I just kind of took things that were in front of me and, and didn't think too deeply about them. And I hardly, I mean, I think I told you, when we were in California, I lived in Southern California my whole life, except for the time I was in the Army. There was a national park about two hours away from my house. I never went. Mm -hmm. Never, never visited that national park. You just park. didn't have that curiosity. Yeah, I was just not curious. And now, in this lifestyle, I'm I'm much more curious than uh, about what's out here um, than than I ever was. I mean, I'm learning about states. We're in Wisconsin right now, and I've never been to Wisconsin. So, 
it's fun to learn about the state and meet people from here and and talk to them and just see how how they differ from people from California or people from Kentucky. And we learn different things. Like we have biked on the very first rail to trail bike trail ever yeah. in the country. And it was in 1967 is when they converted that over yeah. to a bike trail. That's the Sparta, El the Elroy Sparta trail. And, mm -hmm. and we picked it up in, in Sparta. We hope to meet you someday out here in the, in the world. We've, we've met quite a few of our viewers and, and it's always fun. Yeah, and if we don't meet you in person, we love meeting you in the comments, so say hello in the comments. Yeah. Liz, can we talk about your inability to change the toilet roll? That is too personal. <laughs>